we will talk about control memory. The control memory address register specifies the address of the micro instruction, and the control data register holds the micro instruction read from memory. The control memory is assumed to be a room read only memory, which stores all control information. The address sequencing capabilities required in a control memory are incrementing of the control address register. Unconditional branch or conditional branch depending on state split conditions. A mapping process from, from the bit of the instruction to an address for control memory. A facility for subroutine call and return. The next figure shows a plot diagram of a control memory and the associated hardware needed for selecting the next micro instruction address. Micro instruction format. The following figure shows the micro instruction format for the control memory. The address field is 7 bits as the, as the control memory has 128 words. The micro operations are subdivided into 3 fields bits each. All transfer, ty all transfer type micro operation samples use five letters. The first two letters designate the source register. The third letter is always a T. And the, two and the last two letters designate the destination register. Operations code mapping. A special type of branch exists when a micro instruction specifies a branch to the first word in control memory, where a microprogram routine for an instruction is located. The status bits uh, for this type of branch are the bits in the operation part of the instruction. Thank you.